Hi, hey, alright, well, I assume you're here to learn how to clean out your PS4. After all, that's what he was looking for it for. Now, it is an easy job to do, and you can do it in about 10 minutes. If you've never done it before, maybe a little bit longer. Uh, it takes just a little bit longer than it'll take you to hit that subscribe button down there. And that's just a little hint. Thank you. Uh, the easy way to test if your console does need a proper clean out, and I mean a proper clean out, opening up and getting all that dust out of there, sight, sound, and touch. Now, the sight, You'll see the vents all the way around it, full of dust. Sound, you'll hear the fan on constantly, and it'll be going really, really fast, and it'll start getting loud as well. Also, touch. Now, if you touch the side of the PlayStation, the back of it underneath, it'll be quite warm. Now, it can get even hotter, and that's what will keep causing the PlayStation to turn off. Anyway, the tools you'll need, that's the main tool you'll need. That's a Torx screwdriver, that's a T10H, now it has to be the T10H, not the T10. T10H has got a hollow, hole hollow in the centre of it because all the screws on the PlayStation have got like a little nipple in the centre and you won't get a normal tilt screwdriver in there. That's that. That's the main. Little brush, dust away in those little nooks and crannies. Now, this is my little blower. This is to blow up all my, uh, well, not my plastic rubber toys, but uh, the kids' plastic rubber toys, blow up beds. One of those, just 10 quid, $10, whatever, uh, is to blow up all your inflatables. Uh, it's good for blowing out or what you need to. If you don't have one of these, I'd recommend investing in getting one because you can buy those cans of uh, compressed air from Amazon. Now, the problem with them is you have to keep replacing them. With this, last all the time. This is my trusty tack life vacuum cleaner. I use it on all my tools around this workshop, clean away all the dust, especially if I'm using them. Uh, and that's basically it. Oh yes, one more thing you'll need. You'll need a bottle of that, a bottle of that, and you'll need a glass. Oh, and you might need one of them, because if you mess it up and you get your air off, you can just smash the thing but it shouldn't come to that. Anyway, let's get cracking. Okay, first thing we need to do is take that off there. Just slides off that. Yeah, that just slides off. Put that to one side. These are the screws, these three here. If you've never done this before, these will have some warranty stickers across the top of them. Now, if you PlayStation is still in warranty, you can just heat them up slightly and peel them off, put them to one side, then stick them back on afterwards. If your PlayStation is out of oil, just take them off, it doesn't matter, it's not going to make any difference. So these are the screws we're going to take out. Simple. to one side this should just lift up from the back and look at all that dust in there put that to one side sorry I do beg your pardon you are going to need one of these as well a little star point Phillips screwdriver just for these two here now this is the battery pack. Just unscrew those and lift them out. Same with this one. Then back to your torques. These three, one, two, and three. This is your battery pack, you should just lift out now. It can be quite stiff on this side, so be careful with it, don't force it. Just try and lift it straight upwards. There you go. Don't pull it straight out because at the side here, we want to take this plug out. Just give it a little whittle. There you go. Put the dust on that. Oh, 
Right, this is the main, yeah, this is the fan, that's where all the dust is. You see all the dust around the side here, we need to vacuum that out. So all the dust in there needs to come out. And all the dust there, can you see that? That all needs to come out, that's what's causing the fan to uh, heat up. Now, some of the videos might show you how to take this out. I don't bother taking that out, don't need to. You can clean it just as well with it in there. Right, next thing you need to do is have a quick drink. Cheers. Right, vacuum cleaner. I'll lower the sound a bit here because I don't want to blow your ears out. Okay, that's the majority of the loose dust. Now a little brush to get into the fan here just to loosen all this stuff here. Just to loosen it off. See that? And then what we'll do is give it a good blowout. See all that dust flying out. I'll give it another little brush just to loosen it a little any more off. And that's that. That's that bit done. This is the battery. Some people forget about this. This needs a blowout as well. Sorry, I do keep calling it a battery. It's not actually a battery, it's a power pack. But, uh, see, you got all those. Warm. I'm not going to blow this. I'll vacuum this out. Okay. Right, remember the little socket with plugged out there, that needs to go back in. It just pushes in, same as it pulled out. Make sure you line it up as well, and then bring it up square. See these need to line up, and this needs to all be above and squared and pushed down like so put these screws back in I guess the silver ones that go on the inside I don't know if you can see that from there. I might not be able to see that. Tiny little nipple in the centre. See the little hole down the centre of that one. Okay, before we go any further. I don't need to do this. 
I think you've got to be 21 in America to have a drink, haven't you? Well, cheers. 18 over here. 16 if you're at home. And you can drink from the age of 10 if you're a chap. Okay, put this one back in and make sure that points inwards. Same way. You've got some little arrows there. See the arrows? I don't know if you can see them on the camera. There's some arrows pointing to the screws you need to take out. Screw them back in. Until they're just tight. So you don't want to, you know, it's not. There you go. Now, did you see how I did that? I'll do that again. You lift it all from the back, pull it forward a little bit, like that. And it's the same when you put it back on. Okay, that's the back with the vents on. That's the back with the vents on. Hook it over the front so it's lined up, and then clip it down at the back. And pop these back in. There you go, let's them back in. Turn it over, we just put that back in place and it will just ease it across so it fits in and then just push it back together. Because with it heating up. Well, there you go guys, that's it. Nice, clean, shiny PlayStation. Free of dust. I can guarantee the fan won't come on as much now. And it will work brilliantly for another few months until it gets full of dust again. If you stay with me to the end, thank you. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And until next time, cheers.